Today's video is entitled, The One Thing Investors Need But CEOs Don't Talk About. Today's video is part of the Ehrman List series, which aims to provide insights and advice on how to accelerate revenue and earnings in the IoT industry. Why start from scratch when so many things that I've done have either worked or not, and I can provide you context into exactly why. So there's a major problem to fix between CEOs and investors. And today we'll talk about my thoughts on how to address it. I just attended uh, an investor conference a month ago where the CEOs of major players in the IoT space were presenting the vision for their business. I met with those CEOs. It was a great opportunity to not only refresh my relationships, but also talk about some of the consulting clients that I have and the technology they've developed. Um, and investor conferences are important for CEOs, not just for uh, providing information to their investors, but also from a networking standpoint, from a market trend standpoint. So I believe it's extremely important for any CEOs to participate in investor conferences, especially the highly regarded ones. However, this year, having attended the conference more from a shareholder's perspective or potential shareholder's perspective, I had a whole nother experience. So what do I mean by that? Well, the uh, conferences that I attended and the presentations that I watched, the CEOs were well-trained. They're told to talk about their company, the financial results, their business plan, and their strategy, but they never talk about the stock price. That's primarily because of the safe harbor statements, and they don't want to make commitments uh, with regards to the stock price. And very often, the stock price has nothing to do with how the company is doing, but more the investor sentiment. However, I do believe that the stock price is the best barometer of how uh, people believe a company is doing. And so as a result of that, what is missing at the investor conferences is the CEO's perspective on the stock price as it relates to the business performance. I talked to many of the CEOs who were at the conference explaining that uh, I had attended several presentations and the stock price left me uh, confounded. And so let me give you an example. I saw a company that uh, manufactured uh, vehicles. Uh, they actually customized them for delivery. It was for the United States Postal Service. They got some very big orders and their stock price had gone from two to $12. Well, that was an amazing appreciation from a stock perspective. And so uh, going in, I definitely did not expect it to be a bus manufacturer. I expected it to be some high tech company with a great opportunity to grow. So, but because the CEO really uh, wasn't able to provide any information with regards to why the stock had gone up nearly six times in the last year, I felt that from an investor standpoint, I would not buy the stock because the appreciation did not seem justified. At the same token, um, I attended a presentation where one of what I consider an industry leader talked about how great uh, they're positioned in the IoT industry. And knowing uh, that they are well positioned in the IoT industry, as well as knowing that the IoT industry is in its best of times in so many respects, as you might recall from my industry brief, um, I felt that stock should be at an all-time high. But in fact, it was actually at nearly a 52-week low. So the stock had gone as high as $35 and was down to $15 or $16 a share. So um, without context, it was hard to understand why the presentation was so compelling but the stock uh, was languishing. So when I discussed this with the CEOs, what they had told me is, look, that's what they're told to do. They don't acknowledge or talk about the stock price. When I talked to some of my institutional investors that I've known for many years, they said, oh, of course they can't talk about the stock price in the presentations, but if you get them in the one-on-one -on -one sessions, that's when they'll give you the information about the stock price, why they believe it is where it is, and where they think it's going. And that had me concerned because the one-on-one -on -one sessions are, if you're providing that kind of information, that can be considered material non-public information to talk about that, not in an open forum. So that's providing a specific 
um, information to one shareholder or one prospective shareholder that not everybody has. But that's how it's been done. That's how it's done in the industry. And so uh, that's how people believe it's going to continue. My recommendation is a little bit of both. So you definitely need to use the opportunity at the presentations to present your business plan, your vision, but you also need to provide some context around your previous financials and the stock price. Not specifically $6 a share, $10 a share, $20 a share, but if your stock's gone from 35 to 18, there should be some understanding about why that is, some understanding about the history. Just as importantly, there needs to be a vision about why things are going to change in the future. If there are problems, acknowledge the problems. Mature CEOs are not afraid to say, yes, we've projected some quarters, we've missed some of our projections, but here's what we're doing to fix that. That's always well received by the shareholders. Remember, the shareholders are extremely important. The objective from the CEO standpoint is to give shareholders a reason to buy. And remember why they're buying. They're buying to make money. They're buying that stock, hoping it's going to go up, so then when they want to sell it, they're able to make money. That's what they're there for. That's what they're looking for. And information about the business plan is interesting, but again, it has to be provided in the context of the stock price. Getting shareholders enthusiastic about your company by providing that context might result in more buyers, more confidence in your ability to lead as CEO, more confidence in your ability to acknowledge the past and to project um, confidence towards the future. By doing that, when there's more buyers than sellers, the stock price might appreciate. And when the stock appreciates, that gives you a currency to go out and raise money. It gives uh, your customers more confidence. It gives your existing shareholders more confidence. And it's just another way of profiting in the stock market. And to do so, when uh, CEOs are out making their presentations, remember, the shareholders are there to make money and need context for that stock price. Click on the link below to follow me on social media. Leave a comment with your own experiences and thoughts, as well as ask me any questions you may have. Thank you, and I look forward to presenting more uh, suggestions and ideas as we continue.